What is going on everybody? My name is Elite and today I've got a video for you guys who are probably looking to make some coins on the first day or two of FIFA 20. If you want to go from zero coins to 100k within 48 hours, this is the video that's going to give you that head start. Now, we're talking about FIFA 20, but obviously FIFA 20 is not out yet. So we're going to emulate some of these things on FIFA 19 and a little bit is going to be having to base it off of previous years, not knowing everything about FIFA 20 quite yet. Now, I did play FIFA 20 at Gamescom, but Ultimate Team was locked. So I'm not sure what's going to be in the catalog for Ultimate Team in FIFA 20. Given that, we're not sure if Ultimate Team is going to be in the catalog for sure. Now, it has been in previous years. There's some rumors that everything's going to be in weekly objectives, like my chat is saying right now. But we're not 100% sure. We'll go through those basics as well. It's not that important in the end. We've got a lot of different tips to go over in this video. So let's go ahead and get started. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that sub button for me. We've got a lot of FIFA 20 content coming your way, and you're not going to want to miss it. So make sure to hit that sub button down below starting it off guys if you click the right um, analog stick down it does send you to your catalog and you can see in ultimate team there's a bunch of different things you can get now I've played on this account before so I have a lot of things unlocked already all the way up until level 15 which are things that are tradable things that we can actually get coins uh, out of it's very, very useful, especially if you have a lot of them unlocked. So if you played in FIFA 18 and it's the same account, you're going to have pretty much everything unlocked and you'll be able to buy most of it on the first day. Now, I don't know exactly what we're going to see, but if you buy this foot 99 match player contract right there, go ahead and get those coin boosts for every game and then go ahead and pick up uh, all the kits that you possibly can because the kits all quick sell for like 30 to 50 coins. Um, you're going to want the increased transfer list size for trading. Um, you can get another player contract there and um, another player contract there. So those are, I'm only level 15, which isn't a very high level. This is an account that obviously I don't use very often. It's not my main account. I just wanted to give you guys uh, kind of what it would look like if it were a new account. But you can see how there's a lot of different things in the catalog that you can buy. And once you get down lower, you get towards uh, some certain kits. You got kits right here. Uh, the foot soundtrack artist, those all quick sell for like 30 to 50 coins. And you can get some coins out of that as well. Now you might be saying, well, you have 200 coins to start and 30 coins is not really gonna do much. That puts you at like what, 400 coins? You're right, that's not a lot in the scheme of things. But when you're starting ultimate team, Getting off the ground is the hardest part. Now, that's why you see a bunch of different things uh, from from other traders where they just go out and buy 36,000 FIFA points and skip all the grinding that the casual players have to do or the people that who can't afford FIFA points or the people who don't believe that buying FIFA points is morally correct going into Ultimate Team. You've got those kind of people as well, and I want to help you guys. I don't want you guys to be, you know just going out and buying 36,000 FIFA points and then you know watching these people with super teams already telling you how to trade when obviously they didn't trade up from the beginning they bought those FIFA points and then it was a lot easier to trade from then on out it is a lot easier to trade when you have 500,000 coins in comparison to 500 coins there is a big difference so as you guys can see here these all quick sell for 63 coins now at the beginning of the game I'm not expecting any of these to sell on the market. Now, as you get later into the year, these things actually do go up in value. They're 99 contracts. People will probably pay up to like 2,000 coins for them. But at the very beginning of the year, these things aren't going to sell. Why? Because everyone is listing these cards. And contracts aren't really in demand until the first weekend league because contracts are what people are getting out of their starter packs. They're getting them out of the catalog, all that good stuff. So these, you know, you're going to want to quick sell and automatically get ourselves 189 more coins. And that was with a catalog that wasn't very stacked. I didn't have a lot to quick sell there. Moving on, once you're done with the catalog, there's a couple more basic things that you're going to want to do. The first thing is starter packs, all right? Starter packs, go ahead and get those out of the way. What you get at the start of every ultimate team is a base squad. Normally, you get three non-rare golds. You get like two silvers and a bunch of non-rare bronze cards, and those are untradeable in your club to just start with, all right? It's the base. It's nothing good. But what you can do is 
on top of the starter packs, which you'll probably get, it'll say starter pack just like this, not FIFA 19 Ultimate Team. It'll say FIFA 20 starter pack or welcome back pack, something along those lines. Open those, and then you're moving on to squad building challenges. If you guys are unfamiliar with squad building challenges, it's basically where you take a, you take some, um, you take some of your untradeable and tradable cards, some of your bronze guys, maybe some of your silver guys, and go into these, which I've already actually completed, which is why it was throwing me off there a second ago. We've got first exchange, second step, and third step. So what do you, uh, what is required in here? You just need a bronze player. And what do you get in return? A bronze reward pack. So you get like a bronze player, bronze contract, bronze fitness. Second step, you get a regular bronze pack in return for pretty much putting in three players. And then the third step, uh, you go with three more players of three different nations and you need to get 17 chemistry and you get a bronze players pack, which is 12 bronze players. You take those guys and you go into let's keep going or you go to let's move forward or you go to League of Nation basics, which is some of the little better ones right here. And then you look at which ones are going to be most worth it. You need one league, five nations, 45 chemistry. Now we'll get into some trading methods that you can do, some little low budget trading methods that you can do with the requirements of these League of Nation base basics. But knowing EA and how they've neglected to look at advanced SBCs or any of these League of Nation SBCs throughout the entirety of FIFA 19, I really can't see them having gone and put any more work into them. I bet they just recycle the same or very similar things to what they had in FIFA 19. So you need a one league attack. We're gonna go in here, we're gonna see the reward. What do we get for this? A premium silver players pack, which is not bad because you get three rare cards and they're all silver players. So that means you get three rare silvers and then you get nine non-rare silvers, which you can use in other squad building challenges. And we're slowly building up the value of our club. Now we're not really making a lot of coins. And in fact, we might be losing some coins because I might not be able to do this entire SBC with just players from our starter packs. From what we've got right here, we've got all our bronze players that we got from the base of the starter team. And a lot of the times they'll be from the similar nation. So we go with uh, like Joan Luque at left mid. And that means that we gotta go with players from the English fourth league. And then we can't go with any more players from Spain. So our entire team has to be from the English fourth league. And as you can see, we only have one more guy there and uh, we don't have any camps. So that means we're gonna have to kind of buy some players from the English fourth league to add to the squad and complete it. But we do get a premium silver players pack. So if we've got 389 coins, what can we do with 389 coins when we start trading? Now that's a tough amount to work with. So what I'd say is maybe go in, play one match of division rivals. Division Rivals is gonna be a great thing to start with because once EA Access comes out with the 10 hours that you get from EA Access, and we'll go through and maybe talk about an EA Access glitch in this video, I might do it in a future video, but you might be able to get more than 10 hours. Grind out the Division Rivals as much as you can in that first day because the EA Access drops on a Wednesday. The rewards for Division Rivals is on that following Thursday. If you grind out that day, get to rank one, you can start off with a lot of coins from the weekly rewards just by getting rank number one in your rank. So you play five placement games, maybe you get into division, like let's say division five, right in the middle, let's say that's what you end up getting to. And once you get in there, you can see how uh, the rewards are. You can see it's like 28,000 coins for getting rank one, or you get uh, 20,000 coins for getting rank two. And that's a decent amount of coinage to start off with. So if you can get that in the first day, I would go for it. So maybe start with a game if you only have 389 coins. If you follow it correctly, the starter packs and the catalog should probably get you up to like five to 10,000 coins, which makes it a little bit easier to, uh, to work with these SBCs. But what you do next is go ahead and low budget trade. Now, a lot of people are gonna go out and they're gonna look at some of the cool cards. Once they get up to 5,000 coins, they're gonna be looking at Leon Goretzka. They want him in their team. Uh, and that card is gonna be way more than 3,000 coins. They're gonna, he's gonna be 20, 25,000 coins, right? And they're gonna be trying to snipe him for 5,000 coins. And yeah, maybe, maybe it works out for them. But most of the time, that's just gonna be a waste of time. You're gonna just wanna go to gold or silver. You go up to 350 coins just like that. That, 350 coins and this is gonna work very similar to, similarly to how it's probably gonna work right now get these cards for 350 coins maybe even go down to the 
uh, end of the list right here. Go to the 59th minute. If there's a lot of them, which there won't be at the beginning of the year, I guarantee all of these gold cards are going to be at least 450 coins to start the game. So get them for 350, sell them for 450, you profit like 80 coins after tax. 80 coins after tax when you only have 380 coins, that's a big deal because then you can start buying cards that are 400 coins and then 500 coins, 600 coins. Work your way up. Once you get up to 10,000 coins, that's kind of the threshold we're looking for, 10,000 coins, and it should only take you maybe an hour or two to get up there after I said all the different things. Sure, it might take you 20 minutes to play one match, it might take you another 20 minutes to complete those League of Nation basics, and it might take you another 20 minutes to go ahead and snipe and flip those gold cards, but after you do all that, plus the catalog, which takes like a minute or two, you get yourself up to you know 10,000 coins. That's our threshold to move on to our next step which is advanced squad building challenges you're gonna want to avoid league SBCs if there are any league SBCs at the beginning of the year avoid those go straight over here now you've got league of nation hybrid hybrid leagues and hybrid nations I can guarantee there will be something very similar if not the exact same thing in FIFA 20 and these are always profitable no matter what time of the year really these things are great to do and obviously you're gonna want to do them as early as possible because coins are more va valuable then so you got 10,000 coins, let's say we go into the hybrid nations, and you've got quads. This is a 25,000 coin pack for completing quads, it's only needing a 75 rating and an 80 chemistry. So if you guys are confused on how to do these SBCs, I'm going to upload the exact solutions that are the cheapest for you guys when they come out, right when they come out. I'll give you the answers. It's basically getting homework and me giving you all the answers for the homework and you reaping the re rewards as well. So even if you don't necessarily know how to do this or know how to do it for cheap, I'll give you the solutions for them so that you can do them cheap as well. Basically, this squad is gonna cost you maybe seven or 8,000 coins on the first couple of days. Seven to 8K is obviously a lot of that 10,000 coins, but what you get in return is a 25K pack. Let's say the pack is not very good. You're still probably gonna get about seven to 8,000 coins back in return. Once you've done that, quads is out of the way you can't do that again we're moving on to the six which is another only a 7.5 maybe we do that last right move on to this one this is a it's take it takes eight it's a 45,000 coin pack the minimum you get back from a 45k pack on the first day of fifa is gonna be at least 15,000 coins because even the 82 and 81 rated cards as long as they're decently meta are over 6,000 coins which is easy profit in return and like imagine you get yourself something decent like an 86 rated Yashua Kimmich you know not a crazy card but that card will go for over 20,000 coins and a lot of people will get that out of a 45k pack or a 35k pack you complete this squad for 12,000 coins right and then you go ahead and get a 45k pack make 20,000 coins back you're done with that you complete the other two you get a 55k pack in return there's basically no chance you lose coins even if you had the worst pack luck ever you're still probably going to come out with a little bit of profit even if it's the worst packs and hopefully you'll have something a little better than the worst packs possible maybe you get one decent card out of the five packs maybe you get three decent cards out of the five packs you profit yourself 20,000 25,000 coins you're moving on to the high leagues and now you're sitting with 35,000 coins we're moving on to hybrid leagues maybe you get something decent out of here maybe you get an 88 rated card maybe you get a OP 83 rated card you move yourself up to 50 or 60,000 coins and I'm telling you I'm lowballing this you could be making a lot more from these SBCs once you're done with that you move on to the League of Nation hybrid it's a little bit tougher because you're going to need loyalty on the uh the uh lower squads which is going to take you a little longer and the bonus part about this guys is none of this will use up your 10 hours of ea access if there's no way you get more than 10 hours of ea access you can go to the web app you can go to the companion app and do these sbcs from your phone which uses none of your 10 hours so you can spend those 10 hours straight up going through div rivals and making some coins there so we complete all the different SBCs, we make at least 60,000 coins from that. Then we get another 26,000 coins from Div Rivals. And what do we do next? 
These are all coins that we got for free without even understanding how the market works yet. Now, obviously, when it comes to this channel, I'm going to tell you how to make coins off the market as well. So we're just getting started and we've already got 85,000 coins. So be on the lookout for my next couple of videos when I tell you how to trade up from 50,000 coins to maybe 500K in the first week of FIFA. You know I'm going to be doing that even with school I've, my semester started i'm a senior in college i've got away games to go down all the way to you know uh knoxville tennessee and, and different things like that and i'm still gonna make 500k in that first week no doubt and you guys can too if you keep up with these video keep up with these tips this was more of a basic video we're gonna get a little bit more in depth in the future but i wanted to make sure everybody understood and everybody gets that head start that they need thank you guys so much for watching make sure to drop a like on the video if you did enjoy if it helped you out at all and subscribe to the channel that's the most important thing you can turn the bell on if you want if you don't want i'm not gonna really push that as much as other YouTubers, but I will suggest it might be a good thing at least for the next month or two to have that bell on for my channel. Anyways, that's it for today's video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.